Good day, everyone. I am Claire Melo Di Camacho. Our group is tasked to present the case of Renato El Cayetano versus Christian Monson. Honorable Vito R. Salonga, Commission on Appointments, and Honorable Guillermo Caragi in his capacity as Secretary of Budget and Management. With GR number 100113 promulgated on September 3, 1991. And to discuss about the case, let me introduce my group mates. Here are Ms. Marie Nagasanto, Mr. Dexter Bon Alia, Mr. Carl Martin, Martin de la Cruz, Ms. Mercy Grace Magno, Mr. Mr. Gilbert A. Picasales, Ms. Mel Catapiri, Ms. Marian May Ibanez, Mr. Bobit Jerome. Jerome Tumoran and Ms. Sonia Santos. Justice Paras in his decision said, the court's decision in this case would indubitably have a profound effect on the political aspect of our national existence. Why? Let us walk you through by defining first what practice of law is. Black's Law Dictionary defines practice of law as the rendition of services requiring the knowledge and the application of legal principles and technique to serve the interest of another with his consent. It is not limited to appearing in court or advising and assisting in the conduct of litigation, but embraces the preparation of pleadings and other papers incident to actions and special proceedings, conveyancing the preparation of legal instruments of all kinds and, the kind, and giving of all legal advice to clients. It embraces all advice to clients and all actions taken for them in matters connected with the law. An attorney engages in the practice of law by maintaining an office where he is held out to be an attorney, using a letterhead describing himself as an attorney, counseling clients in legal matters, negotiating with opposing counsel about pending litigation, and fixing and collecting taxes, collecting fees for services rendered by his associates. Start presenting the facts of the case. Here is Ms. Agasando. On April 25, 1991, Respondent Christian Munsod was nominated by President Corazon Aquino to the position of Chairman of the Commission on Election in a letter received by the Secretariat of the Commission on Appointment. And on June 5, 1991, the Commission on Appointment confirmed the nomination of Munsod as Chairman. He then took his oath on June 18, 1991 and assumed office as chairman of the COMELEC the same day. Since the beginning, petitioner Renato Cayetano already opposed the nomination of Monsod as chairman of COMELEC because allegedly the later does not possess the required qualification of having been engaged in the practice of law for at least 10 years as provided under Section 1, Article 9-C of the Constitution. What is the content of Section 1, Paragraph 1, Article 9-C of the Constitution then, Mr. Tumaran? Section 1, Paragraph 1, Article 9-C of the Constitution states that there shall be a commission on election composed of a chairman and six commissioners who shall be natural-born citizens of the Philippines and at the time of their appointment, at least 35 years of age, holders of a college degree, and must not have been candidate for any elected position in the immediate pre preceding election. However, a majority thereof, including the chairman, shall be members of the Philippine Bar who have been engaged in the practice of law for at least 10 years. Can you tell our viewers the achievements, affiliation, and qualification of the respondent, Attorney Christian Monsod, Mr. De La Cruz? Attorney Christian Monsod is a member of the Philippine Bar, having passed the bar examination of 1960 with a grade of 86.55%. He has been a just paying member of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines since its inception in 1972 to 1973. He has also been paying his professional license as a lawyer for more than 10 years. Thank you. After graduating from the College of Law, it's from UP, and having hardled the bar, Attorney Monsard worked in the law office of his father, 
During his stint in the World Bank Group from 1963 to 1970, Munsud worked as an operations officer for about two years in Costa Rica and Panama, which involved getting acquainted with the laws of the member countries, negotiating loans, and coordinating legal economic and project work of the bank. Upon returning to the Philippines in 1970, he worked with the Meralco Group, served as a chief executive officer of an investment bank and subsequently of a business conglomerate. And since 1986, has rendered services to various companies as a legal and economic consultant or chief executive officer. As former Secretary General from 1980, uh, 1986 and National Chairman 1987 of NAMFRIL, Munsud's work inv involved being knowledgeable in election law. He appeared for NAMFRIL in its accreditation hearings before the COMELEC. In the field of advocacy, Munsud, in his personal capacity and as former co chairman of the bishops, a business conference for human development has worked with the underprivileged sectors such as the farmers and urban poor groups in initiating lobbying for and engaging in affirmative action for the agrarian reform law and lately the urban land reform bill. Monsot also made use of his legal knowledge as a member of the Davide Commission, a quasi-judicial body which conducted numerous hearings from 1990 and as a member of the Constitutional Commission from 1986 to 1987, and chairman of its com Committee of Accountability of Public Officers, for which she was cited by the President of the Commission, Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma, for innumerable amendments to reconcile government functions with individual freedoms and public accountability and the party list system for the House of Representatives. Thank you, groupmates, for that detailed information. To continue presenting about the facts, let us hear from Ms. Tapire. On confirmation of Monsod's nomination by the Commission on Appointment, Petitioner Caetano filed the instant petition for certiorari to challenge the validity of such confirmation made by the Commission. The petitioner prayed that the said confirmation and the consequent appointment of Monsod as Chairman of the, of the Commission on Election be declared null and void. Because of the contention that the said respondents does not possess the required qualification of having been engaged in the practice for at least 10 years as provided under Section 1, Article 9-C of the Constitution. Can you tell us about the issue of this case, Mr. Aliyah? The issue of this case is whether or not Munsod is the requirement of the position of Chairman of the COMELEC, ma'am. So what is the verdict? The Supreme, Court, the Supreme Court held that Respondent Munsod possessed the necessary qualifications as required by law for the position of chairman of COMELEC. The practice of law, as emphasized by the Supreme Court in the case of Philippine Lawyers Association versus Aglava, it is not only limited to the conduct of cases or litigation in court, but it also embraces the preparation of pleadings conduct, and other papers incident to actions and special proceedings. The management of such actions and proceedings on behalf of clients before judges and court and also conveying. In general, all advice to clients and all action taken for them in matters connected with, with law incorporation services, assessment and condemnation services contemplating an appearance before a judicial body, the foreclosure of a mortgage, enforcement of a creditor's claim in bankruptcy and insolvency proceedings and conducting proceedings in attachment and in matters of estate and guardianship have been held to constitute law practice, as do the preparation and drafting of legal instrument where the work done involves the determination by the trained legal mind of the legal effect of facts and conditions. So in other words, Practice of law means any activity in or out of the court, which requires the application of legal procedure, knowledge, training, and experience. To engage in the practice of law is to perform those acts which are characteristics of the profession. 
generally to practice law is to give notice or render any kind of service which device or service requires that use in any degree of legal knowledge or skill. Moreover, the Supreme Court find that the judgment rendered by the Commission on Appointments with regards to Monsod's nomination as chairman is beyond judicial interfer interference except only upon a clear showing of a grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction as stipulated under Article 8, Section 1 of the 1987 Constitution. Thus, only where such grave abuse of discretion is clearly shown shall the court interfere with the commission, Commission's judgment. In this instant case, according to the Supreme Court, there is no occasion for the exercise of the court's corrective power, since no abuse, much less a grave abuse of discretion that would amount to lack or excess of jurisdiction and would warrant the issuance of the writ spread. As such, the petition is dismissed. Thank you very much, everyone, for all your effort in discussing this case. In behalf of my group mates, I would like to thank everyone for watching our case presentation. We hope that we were able to enlighten you about the legal and judicial ethics in the practice of law. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and share the, this video. Merry Christmas.